trying to finish up the Bronco, getting it together here. Uh, I'm really tired of working on it. Only because it's been so hot. Every day it's just... Yeah, every day it's been no fun, it's just been too hot. But, uh, I'm almost there. Almost there. Got the rear bar. Yeah. Got the rear bumper painted and mounted. It is, um, that's a Fab Four super dirty, super duty bumper. Dimensionally wise, width up and down fits right on there. Just got to adjust the brackets on it. Ow. Just have to uh, adjust some bracketry to make it fit. Super Duty has longer frame rails because it's a longer wheelbase. So it has these real long brackets. So I just had to cut them down and re-drill some holes and pretty much fit right up. Gave it a quick coat of paint only because I plan on making a tire carrier for it and uh, I might have to do some welding to it or something, I don't know. Bolt to it, weld to it. Uh, it's got these little holes in here. I think you can put some lights in. I don't know what side it'll fit in there though, so I gotta figure that out. Uh, a lot of these holes on here are for the the newer uh, trucks that have the backup uh, sensors, so it comes with plugs for that. What I need to do is find the uh, something to fit in here for backup lights. I mean, not backup lights. Um, what are those? Marker lights, plate lights, license plate lights. So that's that. I may. I just may not right now because I'm just tired of working on it. Maybe when it cools off later on, cut this section off right here, this bottom section. Only because it hangs down too low. See this big gap here? That's where the this body panel used to go down here somewhere. And that got munched off rodents. So that's what happens when you go over big rocks. You know, you don't go over rocks in the center of your vehicle. You go over them with your tires, right? And usually when you come down off the back one, uh, yeah, things bottom out. And that's where it bottoms out, right there. There at your bumper. That's why that's cut, because it got smashed once. The factory bumper got smashed. And I could get a few inches more clearance if I cut that bottom piece off, so. That's just That's just what it is, huh? Yeah. So um ba 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 Got the sound system in and running, but what I need to do is, I was gonna do something with amps. These are the amps I have in there, they, they work, so I'm like, I just rough wired them right now. For right now, they work, why replace them? I just rough wired them to get everything up and running. So, uh, Gee, I think there's a spider web back there. Damn it, probably got a mosquito in here. I mean, not a mosquito, a black widow somewhere. God dang it. So for right now, yeah, that's just rough wired. It works. I need to uh, adjust this Pioneer, the EQ and all that. Gotta read the manual on that, but it does work. Here's one thing I forgot to do. I put the panel back on, but I forgot to hook at this light. Hey look, there's the bulb right in there. Man. Damn it. I was wondering why it didn't work. 
So that takes care of that. So uh, this morning, I wanted to finish my bumper, except, I mean the front bumper, or the front bar I fabbed up. The only issue was the, um, my welder. I cannot get it to strike a good arc and keep an arc, if you know what I mean. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, it's just a wire fit, wire fed Lincoln. And they used to weld really good. But it, God damn ice cream truck. Yeah, so um, I was just getting really frustrated with it. I wanted to mount this thing up. And it would start to weld real good, and then it would it would stop welding. I wouldn't run a nice arc. The arc would start popping, and uh, so basically, what I did, I just tacked this thing on. It's not pretty, because like I said, I couldn't get it to freaking weld to to keep a, a a bead going. I didn't grind it down or nothing, only because it's so freaking hot out here. I just got frustrated, and that's it. That's it. It's good enough. It's not going to fly off. Um, yeah, pretty ugly. The only good weld I got was right here. For some reason, it started welding real good. And All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go around, go around, go around. And then down here it started up again, just popping and stalling out and screw it. I wanted to do other things like get these lights wired up. In fact, I was thinking maybe I ought to order two more sets and fill in this spot right here. Oh. That's about it. I'm just done. I just toasted, you know? Frustrated. All right, let me try this again. Yeah, so I got the exhaust run. Um, oh, by the way, these are some of the fittings I ordered from Summit Racing. That's a Summit Racing two and a half inch, 90 degree bend. Look at that, that's perfect. I bought some of those in 45s, and I didn't use those. I just went with all 45s. But this morning I was over at O'Reilly's, and I, they sell bends there too, but they sell what's called wrinkle bends. I mean, it's a 90 degree, like, well, I wasn't even close to nothing like this. But it's smooth on one end and it's wrinkled in the, in the in interior bend there. That's called a wrinkle bend. I mean, it does the job, but it's not a very good bend, efficient bend. Uh, as you can see my pipes sticking out there almost worked out yeah almost worked out I had to take the whole thing off yeah I'll take off the muffler section well, I'll fit it all up first and then take it all down and weld it up and put it back in again from the cat from the second cat back. Otherwise, I got to take the cross member off. But yeah, I uh, figured something wouldn't come out right. And this one, this pipe here, is a little too long. Well, it's, it's a few things. Could have been further back that way because right now it's just about touching the, the fuel tank. It's close. It may not be an issue. On the other hand, it, it might make a noise. And then, you know, I only had so many elbows and I cut this one too short. That's a 45. I cut it too short. I'm oh, gonna damn it. So, this run could have been cut back maybe an inch so it's not hitting against the tank. And then, I cut this 45 too short for some reason. Who knows? But it's only one I got, so. I may uh, just weld this little short piece on. Right now I got a clamp holding it. Just so I don't heat up my fuel tank. 
you don't want that. And then my welder, like I said, my welder wasn't working very good. It doesn't work very good, but I was able to weld everything up with no leaks. Just butt welded. At least I don't think I got any leaks. For right now, pretty ugly. What can I tell you? I had to rotate the uh, the uh, muffler like that to clear the frame on the right. And there's a cross member that goes, man, just right after that. It's pretty damn close. So far I haven't had any issues, but I haven't taken it out driving anywhere. Issues, I mean noise issues. You know, hit knocking against the frame or anything. Uh, I got a, a piece of wire holding this section up right now. I still need to attach it to the muffler hanger up there. And I was going to weld something up to the factory uh, mount, but uh, my welder just, uh, I had enough. I had enough for now. The welder will work. I mean, the wire, uh, yeah, the tie wire will work for now. What can I tell you? Uh, oh, cool. So, that being said, I need to wash this truck. I haven't washed it in I don't know how long. Clean it up. I'd like to take it for a ride, but not just yet. I may uh, order some step signs, we call them things, rock sliders for it. I saw some on uh, online. Universal rock sliders are about five foot long. They'd work perfect right there. The only issue with that is I'd have to weld up the brackets. They sell the brackets, it comes as a kit. The rock sliders come fabbed up, but the the legs that go out to the frame, you have to weld those up yourself, which is okay because I've got some issues with the radius arms. See, my radius arms are in the way there, but I can work around that. And then I got this parking brake thingy right there, uh, body mount, rear leaf uh, hanger. So it's something I can work out, but I can't count on my welder right now. I really got to fix my welder. That's why I left the this bar I put on. That's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not even going to bother grinding nothing down for now. Got to get my welder fixed. Then I come back, grind it nice, smooth, re-weld it. I just had enough. I can fix my welder or buy a new welder. I doubt that's going to happen. That's all for now.